Hi, I'm Angelina Lippert, the Chief Curator of Poster House, and this week I'm at the Museum of the Dog, where they have an amazing exhibition up right now called Hollywood Dogs, and it's dedicated to dogs in movie posters. Um, so we're going to start with this one, which is Lad a Dog, which I... I actually wasn't very familiar with this poster when I first saw it, but then the curator explained to me the plot line of Lad a Dog, and I really want to see this now. Um, so the original book that this was based on was written in 1919, and then the book was adapted into a film in the 1960s. I think it was, yes, 1962. Um, so what I find really interesting about this poster, if you zoom in, if you get up close, it's up here. There is a, um, we would call it a tip-on, which is a separate piece of paper that's been added to the poster. And it just says in like handwritten scrawl, kids show, Saturday, 2 p.m. And that just shows the utilitarian nature of posters like this. So if I had a small theater in New Jersey and I was doing an extra screening of this movie, I could just like slap that on without having to mess with the marquee, without having to do anything extra, just slap it on so people would know that a kid's show was happening at two o'clock on Saturday um, and they'd come down and see this movie. The other really fun thing about posters like this is that you can see like a bunch of different things going on, which I'm gonna talk about later as well in some of the other posters. Um, so A, you have a gazillion different typefaces happening. Um, I also love like this section here where, where some of the letters are filled in with polka dots and then around the lettering are these little vignettes, one of like I'm assuming the mother and, uh, the mother and father and then of a little girl hugging Lad so sweetly in this very like dr hand drawn cartoon style that I think is very adorable. Then also you have a, like an extended tagline that I think is like choice copy. Um, the wonderfully honest and honestly wonderful story of every child who ever wanted a dog um, if my mom's watching, I still want a dog. Um, so yeah, that is Lad a Dog, and I think just a tremendous, wonderful way to start this exhibition.